Hi there. Today I'm going to tie a rusty rat, an Atlantic salmon hair wing tied on the partridge double hook size 12. The thread I'm using is the Unithread Trico 17 out white. Start the thread just behind the eye and trim the tag. Next, take the fine oval gold tinsel and strip the tinsel down to the core and secure it by the core underneath the hook, the start of the wrap. Measure the tinsel so the core ends at the straight portion of the hook and wrap the thread edge to edge to that point. Next, wrap a base with the thread edge to edge along the straight part of the hook or the tag. Wrap the thread forward with wide spiral wraps to move it out of the way. Next, wrap the tinsel edge to edge going forward for the tag, five wraps. I find it easier to rotate the vise while keeping tension on the tinsel. Next, unwind the thread until it meets the tinsel and secure it from underneath the hook along the whole threaded area and trim the excess at the start of the threaded area. Next, take three strands of peacock sword, measure the tips so they're even, and set it on top of the hook. The tips should be even with the bend of the hook. Secure with edge-to-edge -edge wraps to the base of the tag and wrap it forward to the start. Next, take a fine oval gold tinsel, strip a small section of the tinsel down to the core, and secure it underneath the hook. Place it so the tinsel portion is lined up with the tag. Wrap edge to edge nice and even. This will give you a nice smooth underbody for the silk floss. Next, take the gold silk floss and secure it underneath the hook with edge-to-edge -edge wraps to the base of the tag and bring the thread forward. Next, wrap the gold silk floss forward, slightly overlap to the halfway point of the threaded area and secure from underneath the hook to the start of the threaded area and trim the excess. Next, take the excess gold silk floss and fold it over the thread and secure it on top of the hook and wrap it back towards the end of the silk body and wrap it forward to the start. This will be the veil. Next, take two strands of peacock curl, trim the ends even and secure from underneath the hook to the end of the silk body and bring the th thread forward. Wrap the curl forward to cover the threaded area and secure on the bare portion of the hook. Next, take the veil portion and fold it over the peacock curl body and secure it with a single wrap of the thread to keep it out of the way. Next, wrap the fine oval gold tinsel forward on the silk body, slightly angled and evenly spaced, three wraps. Undo the thread and move the veil out of the way and continue to wrap the tinsel over the peacock curl body. Two wraps. And secure it along the threaded portion behind the eye from underneath. Trim the excess. Trim the veil shorter than the tail. Next, prepare the gray fox fur. Remove the under fur, stack the tips evenly, and measure the length. This wing will be slightly past the bend of the hook. Next, trim the fox fur on a slight angle and position it so the bottom is even with the thread. Wrap in small segments at a time till you reach the hurl. Next, take a hen grizzly hackle, fold it, and tie it in by the tip underneath the hook. Attach a hackle plier to the stem and wrap it edge to edge as a collar going forward 
when secured by the stem and trim the excess. Put finish and trim the thread. Next, wrap the red thread to cover the white thread, put finish, trim, and add head cement. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more fly tying techniques, check out my other videos and leave a like.